Wouldn't it be great to have a place in your yard to relax and enjoy the outdoors? The Keystone How-To Series wants to give you the do-it-yourself know-how to build your own bench using the beautiful Country Manor two-piece retaining wall system. Available only at Lowe's. Before we start, make sure you have your materials and supplies ready to go. You'll just need a few basic tools to do this project. All of the tools and supplies can be found at your local Lowe's store. Remember, always make sure you have the right safety gear. We need to create a solid base for the bench first. Start by marking a 14-foot, 2-inch by 30-inch rectangle where you want to build the bench. Add a 6-inch outcrop, 20 inches from each end to the forward-facing edge. Use a shovel to excavate the project area to a depth of 1 foot. Grab your hand tamper and compact the base to make it as level as possible. No one likes sitting on an uneven bench, so always keep your level handy and check your work after every step. Add even layers of base material a few inches at a time to a little over 6 inches. This should take about 26 cubic feet of material. That's 52 half cubic foot bags. Use your hand tamper to compact the material down to a level 6 inches. The most important step is the base. Now that it's complete, we're ready to start building. Working from one side to the other, lay the first course of the bench and leave a 6 inch border and center opening. We'll call this course layout A. Make sure the course is level by using a rubber mallet or dead blow hammer to adjust any stones that aren't lined up. Grab your level and check the entire course before you move on. We'll be using construction grade adhesive to secure the bench columns. A quarter inch strip of glue on both sides and down the center should be enough. This adhesive is very strong and dries fast, so before you apply any during the project, it's best to dry fit what you'll be gluing as a practice run. The use of Keystone's patented interlocking pins makes a perfectly aligned block-to-block -block connection and takes away the need for mortar. Just place the pins into the center holes of the front and back row of stones. Now that we have a solid foundation with the first course in place, let's start building our seat and columns. From here on out, alternate between course layout A and course layout B to build the next three courses. Align the channels on the bottom of each stone with the interlocking pins. Keep applying adhesive to the columns and place the keystone interlocking pins into the middle holes. As always, check your work with a level after each course. To make sure you have a solid seat to sit on, Fill the center with clean crushed stone. This should take about 10 cubic feet. You can decide what to fill the borders with depending on what will be around your bench. Using what you shoveled during the first step should work in most cases. Not bad at all. Let's move on to the backrest and columns. Start by applying adhesive to the back row for some extra support. The seat's base is finished, so you won't need the front row of stones for this step. Keep alternating between course layout A and B to build the next three courses. Ensure each course is level before moving on to the next. We're done with the interlocking pins since this is the last full course. It's starting to look like a bench. Time to finish the columns. We'll call this column layout A. Just rotate the same layout for column layout B. Almost there. Now for the final touches. Top the bench by applying adhesive to each cap. The caps are a bit bigger than the other stones, so be sure to leave enough room for the adhesive to spread without dripping down the sides. Center the caps on the backrest and columns. Do the same for the seat while keeping the 6-inch center exposed. You'll end up with some open spaces. Don't worry, we'll fill them in by making a few easy cuts. Before we cut, grab three capstones and mark them with these measurements. Double check by measuring the openings on your bench just to be safe. With your safety gear on, get your saw revved up and start cutting. Take your time. It might take a few tries to get a feel for it. It's easy once you get the hang of it. Determine how many remaining caps need to be cut. Make your marks and cut the rest of the capstones.
Finally, fit them into place and use adhesive when you need to. There you have it, a beautiful country manor bench that will make a great new focal point for your landscape. If you like this project, check out the other Keystone How-To Series episodes for more DIY projects and ideas that will complement your favorite outdoor space. It's easier than you think.